In this session, we'll discuss about the flat pattern complete details, how to create for this critical sheet metal part and extract the flat pattern. Also, we'll look into the project, which is shown here for the solid part, how to create the flattened shape and extract the details to the project and exporting the flat pattern, the DXF or maybe the other formats like geo format that you can extract here. Then we'll continue with our project in our coming session. So let us look all these details in brief. So I'll go to Unigraphics, NX, and we'll open the reference model, which is this. Once you have this particular model, here you can go to the flat patterns and you can create the details. So how to create that I will show. I'll just delete these details. Only you can just create the flat pattern and you can export. This is not a flat solid. So you can go to flat pattern and you can select the face which you are taking reference and corner treatment will be the globally controlled outer corner and inner corner properties also globally controlled. Just you go to apply. Once you apply the flat pattern features is created in the separate flat pattern view and just cancel it. Now directly you can go to drafting and you can have all the details related to this particular flat patterns. Now you can go to the particular view, go to next, next and here you can see the flat pattern which we have deleted that also is recorded and once you go to next and finish this pattern will be extracted in brief and you can have the complete blank details here and you can have all the independent bending details with the bending radius annotated in brief. Just like that, we look into the other projects also. In this particular case, you can see the project which we are going to do. You can have the flat solid, which directly you can extract. This is the flat solid which we have created. Let us say this flat solid, after extracting, I need to have the patterns which I need to export. When you go to export pattern, here you can see select the flat pattern feature. So first of all, we have to create the flat pattern, apply, and then you have to export this in DXF or the corresponding format which you need or geo also. Once this is extracted, what you have to do is we have to just keep the history on, then go to export flat pattern. You have to select this flat pattern which you have created and you have to select the extension like the geo format or DXF. And then you have to go for the configuration NX sheet metal and you can go for OK. Here you can select all the details, bend tangent lines, interior feature curve, everything you can configure as per requirement. You can go for OK and once you have selected OK. All the details are imported. Now we can import all the exported details to AutoCAD. So directly from your exercise folder, you can browse this particular DXF file or wherever you have saved from there, you can directly browse this. And this will be the complete unported details in DXF format, which you can find here. All the details are editable and the lines and polyline will be created automatically. This is one of the very important options which you will be using during executing any project. In our coming session, we'll be discussing about the applications of all these options which we learned till now and we'll be applying over two different projects. Thank you.